For regular videos on ancient cultures and forgotten civilizations, please subscribe. The word the ancient Egyptians used for a pyramid was mer. The derivation of the word is not known for certain. Our word pyramid comes from the Greek pyramis, meaning wheaten cake. Yeah, it was noted how the structure was shaped like one of their cakes. The Egyptians too had a conical bread loaf called benben, and they used that term for the capstone of a pyramid or the tip of an obelisk, which represented a mound in their mythology that was believed to have arisen from the primordial waters at the beginning of creation. If the pyramid itself represents the sacred benben, this is an indication that the pyramids were connected in some way with the worship of Atum, the sun god who brought forth the Benben in the myth. Khufu's father, Sneferu, was the first to build a true pyramid. But Khufu's pyramid surpassed his father's work in both size and accuracy. The height of the Great Pyramid has been calculated to be 146.59 meters, 481 feet. Its base length is 230.33 meters, 756 feet, but it is not a perfect square. Measurements indicate the west side is longer than the east by about 7.4 centimeters, 2.9 inches. Still, even though it is slightly lopsided, the level of accuracy is astonishing. It is not impossibly precise, but it is impressively precise. Why did the royal designers bother being so precise? Their exactitude may have been imbued with symbolic and cultic significance, but no one really knows for sure. Or the reason may have been practical in nature. They may have wanted to avoid the architectural disasters of some of the earlier pyramids and felt such precision would have been a safeguard. The pyramid's orientation is three arc minutes, six arc seconds off true north. This could have been calculated by stellar alignment. The Egyptians would have used northern or circumpolar stars for orientation, which suggests that the alignment was taken for either the east or west side of the pyramid. But modern measurements have shown that it is the west sides of the Old Kingdom pyramids that were the most accurately aligned. Research has shown that the pyramids were oriented by a method that varied in accuracy over time, but in a progression. The pyramids initially being placed in positions that slowly got closer to true north, then passed it and got further away from true north. The most likely explanation for this deviation from true north is that a method was used which became increasingly inaccurate as a result of the effects of precession, the wobble of the earth on its axis. The method they probably used was to calculate when two stars were in vertical alignment. Zeta Ursae Majoris and Beta Ursae Minoris. By using a plumb line, they could draw a cord through the two stars to the pole to determine north. The only problem is that it doesn't always point exactly to true north because of the Earth's precession. In the time of the Fourth Dynasty, only in the year 2467 BCE would such a calculation have been exactly right. But no alignment was taken for a pyramid that year because no pyramid is aligned perfectly, which means the Egyptians had no idea about precession. Khufu's is the closest. The Great Pyramid is off by three arc minutes, six arc seconds, which suggests the alignment for the pyramid was taken in the year 2480. This is a few years after when historians think Khufu reigned, so we either have to redate Khufu, suppose the Egyptians messed up on that occasion, or reject this theory. The formal symmetry of the pyramid complexes at Giza has inspired many pyramid enthusiasts to look for more alignments in the hopes of finding hidden meanings or a reason to doubt that the Egyptians built the pyramids. But it is a little too easy to convince ourselves that interesting mathematical correlations were intentional, when often they are coincidental.